like it has to go. Yes. Hadley, what are we gonna draw today? Slime. Slime. We're gonna draw really drippy slime, dripping out of a hand. It's awesome. You love playing with slime, don't yes. you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We hope you're excited and you're going to follow along with us. What do they need for this art lesson? Marker. Marker. Paper. Paper. And some color. Something to color with. All right, you ready to start? Yes. Yes. We're going to draw our drippy slime and we're going to draw a hand holding it. And it's going to be dripping in between the fingers. So let's first draw our first finger. We're going to draw a upside down U like this. So it looks like a finger holding it like this. <laughs> so we're going to draw, yep, yeah, right about there. Good job. Now we're going to draw the slime and we're going to draw a big drip like this coming down and then we're going to draw it coming back up. That's a fun line to yeah. draw. Draw that little drippy and then coming back around over the top. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now we could draw the drip coming down even further. Watch this. <laughs> you can make the noise too. It's a roller coaster. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> and then back up. Oh yeah, it's got to make the clicking noise going back up. <laughs> now we're going to draw another finger right here. So we're going to draw another upside down U. Like that. So that's another finger. <laughs> and going on a roller coaster. Then we're going to draw another drip. This one is going to be shorter. Let's draw this one not as far down. So it's going to go like this. And then it's going to come back up. Like that. Yeah, <laughs> another roller coaster. Ah! <laughs> now let's draw another finger. We're gonna draw another upside down U like that, right next to it. <laughs> okay, now we got one more little drip, and this one's gonna be even smaller, like that. <laughs> then we can draw one last little pinky finger coming up. And back down. This one's a little smaller, too. Because it's the little finger at the very end. <laughs> Whoa, that's a real titty pinky. And I like how thick that one is. Next, we're going to draw the little knuckles on the end of each of our fingers. So right here, I'm going to curve it in like that. And I'm going to curve this one in, too. And... Yeah. There you go. And then curve that one in for the knuckle. And then we can curve this one in over here, too. Right. Like that. Yeah, and then right here at the very end, the little knuckle for the little pinky finger. Oh, that is a teeny finger. <laughs> Next, let's draw a big, we're going to draw another big thing of slime coming down like this, even further than the other one, like this. We're going to come back up, and then this one is going to come in like that. So it's going to come into the pinky. So we can start here on this little drip, come down even further, and then connect it in. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's perfect. Okay, now let's draw the top of our slime. So we're gonna draw this one, it's gonna go down like this over the finger, and then this one's gonna come down like this and then connect into the pinky. So you could just make it wavy. Oh, it doesn't that's have cool. to, it does look like slime, huh? Yeah. Okay, so we just start right here and then we're gonna draw it wavy. It doesn't have to look exactly the same as mine. Yeah, and then connect it into the pinky. Yeah, perfect. Then we're going to draw a little thumb right here at the very top that looks like it's holding on to the top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? Let's draw another. I'm going to draw another drip of slime coming down right here. Ugh. Drippy slime. Draw another one on yours. Yes. Oh, it looks so cool. Okay, let's also add fingernails on the ends of our fingers. So right here, let's draw a U-shape. Yep, and then we can connect the top with another curve. And do the same thing over here, U-shape, and then connect the top with a curve. Another U-shape, and then connect the top. And one on the little pinky, we're just repeating the same step. But if we're going too fast, you can always... Pause the video. Yeah, you can always pause the video. Let's, yeah. let's add a few more drips, Hadley. Okay. Okay, let's try... I'm going to draw one that's kind of short right here, and then this one, maybe this one's longer, like that, in between, 
Maybe it connects up there. At the top. Yeah. <laughs> now it looks really cool. <laughs> I love these fingers in here. Okay, we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color it. Yeah, it's gonna look so much more slimy and gross when we color it. Now, this part we're gonna fast forward again, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Now, Hadley, we added highlights to make our slime look super shiny. Yeah. And that's this little white spot right here, and we did it all over our slime. And then, also, we're adding darker colors to make our slime look more 3D. So we're adding shadows and shading. And I really love how good you're doing on your shading. <laughs> you're doing a great job. Now, first, we used our dark green to add a really dark shadow on the back parts, the back drips. So we're adding, start dark right here by the by the finger, and then getting lighter towards the bottom. Yeah. You did great on that one, and that one you're gonna add another one to there. Mm-hmm. And then I also added one over here on this last one right by the pinky. And then I've also added a shadow on the front drips, on the little slime drips up here on the front, but it's right next, I'm really dark next to the finger right here. And then I get lighter as I go down like this, and it even kind of comes down to a point. You did awesome on that. So you can add another one to each finger, and this makes those drips look a lot more 3D when we add those shadows. Now I'm also using brown to add a shadow on the bottom part of the finger. So I start dark down here and then get lighter towards the top. That looked really super 3D yeah. on the fingers. Now you guys can change your drawings any way you want. You could change the color of the slime. Yeah. You could also change the color of the fingers. You don't have to color them peach. Use your creativity to change your drawings to make them look even cooler. All right, let's continue to fast forward, okay, Hadley? Okay. We'll finish up our drawing. Hadley, we did it. We finished coloring our slime. It looks so much better colored in, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, did you have fun? Mm -hmm. Now you guys at home can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. You can even color your slime purple. You use a light purple for the main color oh, and then yeah. a dark purple for the shading. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your slime. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing slime with us. Remember, you can change your drawing. It doesn't have to look exactly like ours. Most important thing is... To have fun. To have fun and to... Practice. Practice. Oh, I got a special challenge for our friends. You guys can finish the background of your drawing by adding a waterfall of slime. Cool. Maybe the hands coming through the waterfall yeah. of slime. That would be so cool. That would be way cool. And creepy. And creepy. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye -bye.